can you turn one penny into marketing gold? And what does one penny, one iPhone, and traveling across the entire America have to do with anything? Hello and welcome back to another episode. I'm Tovia and it's great to have you here. Today we're gonna to discuss the man who has simply broken YouTube. His name, if you haven't heard of him, is Ryan Trian. Yeah, I'll link everything that he's done over the past couple of years in the description below. And today we're gonna to discuss what does this have to do with product and marketing and how can you take advantage of all the things that Ryan has taught us. This guy's done everything from living in VR for 100 days. He's simply lived on one penny for an entire week more on that shortly and everything in between his storytelling is second to none and he is just brilliant at what he does recently he's traveled across america in 30 days to deliver this one penny to another very famous youtuber named mr beast and he's done all that by simply relying on his skills as a salesman his showmanship and most of all his attitude so how has he done this in 30 days? Well, Ryan has a great way of storytelling. He's lived off one penny simply by changing that one penny into $1, into $10, into $100. He's used that to live, his board, his food, and everything in between. And he's done some really smart things, which we'll get into shortly. But Ryan created some rules for himself. The rules that he created kept people engaged. Things like every time someone donates $50,000, a crazy amount of money, he'll do something called Great Reset. And that meant that he had to start from one penny all over again. There's lots to get through, so let's dive in and understand what we as marketers and product managers can take from this. So it's time to get through my key takeaways from Ryan's videos. We're starting off with number one, which is storytelling and engagement. Ryan did an amazing job with his pacing, his spacing, his music, and everything in between. He kept the audience captivated and engaged throughout his videos. He's also very likable and down to earth, joking with himself, making fun of himself, and he's not so serious with the things that he does. And this meant that the audience can connect with him a lot better. But there are three things that he did with his storytelling that ensured that he kept up with the audience consistently. Number one was his repetition and his consistency. We knew what he was gonna do through the day because he told us he had a game plan. We knew what he was gonna achieve through that day, we knew what he was gonna eat, and we also knew where the day would end up. But the consistency of always ensuring that he had a game plan, we knew that he was either gonna eat a McDonald's McChicken, a Chipotle burrito, when he was gonna have a nice coffee in the morning, when he had a daily routine, and we always knew he was gonna make money. So those things are the things which kept us going every single day that we knew he was gonna achieve. But there was always this little bit of things which you weren't sure is it gonna happen. Is it gonna be reset? Is it gonna meet someone funky? Are we gonna have a really cool story? Will he actually make it to the place that he needs to make it to? Those things ensured that his storytelling was of high, high value. And so when we create our product and marketing materials, it's all about showcasing what our customers love about us, keeping us consistent. Then that was for X, make sure that we are producing X, but always ensure that we are surprising and delighting them with something unique to ensure that we're engaging with them consistently. Customers both like that consistency, but they always want to be surprised and delighted, which is exactly what Ryan gave us every single day. The next thing Ryan taught us is that in fact, less is more. Out of the 15 or 16 hour day that Ryan had, he cut that down into 10 or 12 minutes of pure action and engagement. Sometimes as marketers we think, we have gotta do a million things, but really in fact, we've gotta cut down be very prescriptive of what we're trying to get our audience to be engaged with and just give them exactly what they want. But the final thing that we can learn from Ryan is the gamification of literally everything. He turned a seemingly innocuous journey of going from LA to New York, or in this case, Colorado, to meet Mr. Beast into an absolute beast of a game. Yes, that's a pun. <laughs> And what he did was he said, if you do X to me, for example, you give $50,000, then Y will happen. The great reset will happen. And for us, when we're thinking about what we can do from a services perspective, we can't always give someone tangible, but there are many ways to gamify things, be it buy 10 coffees, you get your 11th one free, 
or refer a friend, refer 10 friends, refer 20 friends. And at each stage, you are incentivizing your customers to come back and be engaged with you more. Talking about being engaged on your journey. If you're loving this content, be that good guy or girl and give this video a like. And remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. The next key takeaway we can learn from Ryan is influencer marketing. Or in this case, brands and people being that influential key takeaway for all of Ryan's audience to be engaged with. Did you know that Ryan liked McChickens? And did you know that McDonald's serves McChickens? Did you know that Ryan loves a bit of a slap burrito? Did you know that Chipotle makes burritos? More importantly, did you know that Ryan was delivering a penny to one of the most influential YouTubers in the Thai world, Mr. Beast? All these things created a lot of engagement and a lot of hype for Ryan. Also so interesting is that influencer marketing is coming to a fore and has been growing significantly in the last two years. In fact, it's increased by between 17 and 26% over the course of the last two years. A big key stat is that 93% of marketers have used influencer marketing in some capacity over the past two years. But he was smart about it. He didn't go, oh, McDonald's is sponsoring me or Chipotle is sponsoring me or Mr. Beast is going to give over $100,000 to Feeding America. No, he was smart about how he was engaging his audience. He knew that he'll just pop these brands and these people on his videos so that you will recognize them and want to see them more. And the best thing of all, you'll associate Ryan with these brands and influential people. And that's exactly what great influential marketing is all about. Taking your product and providing great positive and strong associations to other people who your audience is also attracted to. But there's one other key takeaway. If I don't see on Twitter or an announcement on Facebook or anywhere else that Chipotle, McDonald's, or even more, USA Tourism aren't sponsoring Ryan or asking for royalties for his videos, my mind will literally be blown. How can these brands not take advantage of what Ryan has done? And the final key takeaway from Ryan's journey is that we have to use the tools and technology at our disposal to its fullest potential. Whether you've got the latest iPhone, seven year old iPhone, whether you've got a camera in front of you, whether you have zero budget to do any marketing, it's all about being smart with what you have at hand. So you have a three year old iPhone, take it out, record videos, record TikToks and any other form to get engaged with your audience, be it on TikTok, or YouTube, or Instagram, or anywhere else. It's all about using what you have to engage your audience. Ryan literally traveled across America with an iPhone, I presumably think a charger, an Apple Watch, I'm not sure how much use he got out of that, and a lavalier microphone. That is it. Granted, he had another person who also videoed with him, but he vlogged his way into all of our hearts for 30 days straight. And he did it all with the techniques that you can do all on your smartphone. So as I said, whether you have zero budget or $1,000, spend your money wisely. You don't have enough money to make any marketing ads on Facebook or YouTube? Great, use organic search. Use organic traffic from things that are really great at organic reach, whether that's TikTok or LinkedIn or anywhere else where you know you're gonna have great engagement. Again, you're not so digitally savvy? No probs. Take a sign, write on a sign, just like Ryan did, stand outside your shop or pay your grad. 10, 15, $20 an hour, whatever it is to stand outside and your shop for, I don't know, a couple of hours a day, a week, a month, whatever it is. Engage your audience in whatever way you possibly can. Because if they don't know you exist, well, they're never gonna come and buy your products and services. So use what you have at hand to deliver the best engagement to your audience. And so finally, let's end on a really positive note, just like Ryan would like us to. He raised, as I mentioned, over 13 million meals, which equates to about $1.3, $1 $1.4 million. And on average, from his 14,000 donors, it's about $95 per donor. It's a massive effort. And remember, Ryan did that all by starting with one penny and getting literally across America. And I'll leave all the links below to any of Ryan's pages you can still go and donate to. But love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Ryan's journey? How can you use your tools to best disposal to offer your customers the best products, services, and engagement as possible? Again, be that good guy and girl, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you here again. As always, 
do that extra little good deed to bring a little light in the world. Until next time. Bye.